This is a document we have looked at before, but I thought I would use it again to show you how to make a pie chart. Pie charts are probably the most straightforward graph you can make in Excel. Again, our information is side by side. So let's highlight everything we're looking for. Click on Insert and go to Pie Chart. Now, there are only two options I would recommend using. That would be the 2D pie chart or the 3D pie chart. Now we can see that that creates a graph for us already. It gives us a legend and gives everything a different colour. Graph's almost done, not much more you have to do to it. I would always recommend, always recommend, you'll probably be asked to add data labels. So click on the plus sign and then add your data labels. That is just quantifying what each segment represents. Now, what I'm doing here is I don't think all the numbers are going to be visible against the background, so I'm just dragging it off, making, making some space, really making it all clear. Now, something you will be asked to do, quite possibly, is to change the format of your data labels. So let's click on one option, and you see it highlights them all. Right click, Format Data Labels, click on the Percentage option, and then unclick the Value option. Now, as you can see, it's changed all your options from Currency to Percentages. That's just a little something that might come up. I've also just changed the heading to something a bit more specific. It's best to make your heading as clear as you possibly can. Now one more time to go over printing. It would be file. Then we go to print. And as long as you're clicked in the middle of the graph when you get print, you will just get the one option for printing. It will bring up this one page. You can clarify that by saying print only selected charts. If you, remember to click, if you remember to click on the page setup tab, make sure your graph is set on landscape, your page is set to landscape. Then you click on the header and footer tab, and then you click on custom footer. And you can see at the bottom of the page we have name, task and school. We've got a title and all our labels are clear. Now that should get you all the marks that are required, that are available for printing off a graph. Generally, at, at higher, there might not be that many marks available, but you can lose marks from not having a clear heading, not having a legend, or not having your data labels on. Um, there are different chart options available here that really change the layout of your graph. I wouldn't recommend looking at them. You know, there are ways to make to make, make your graph more clear, make some more eye-catching. I would always recommend to keep it simple and just always stay with stay with what you have really